for me, if I'm gonna write a political song, it has to come from the same place as writing a love song. It has to come from the heart. There's no agenda when it comes to being a songwriter. It's less politically, but more sanity. <laughs> I Our new record, Saviors, is very intentional, ambitious. We're fucking going for it. You know, we want to make a, an essential album that's going to be, you know, in 20, 30 years, look back as, as an important record for our career or in rock and roll in general. Next, the highly anticipated new single from Green Day. This is The American Dream is Killing Me. Dookie, American Idiot, and Saviors, I think, when we're dead and gone, if you look back on it's like, those are giant moments for Green Day, giant records for, for us, like essential records. Like some of the, the sounds on the record, I think, are really big. There's moments where the, the guitars remind me a lot of Dookie, but then you've got songs like The American Dream, where that, that sonically could have been pulled from American Idiot or 21st Century Breakdown. The first song that was written during the pandemic was, was the song Saviors. And I think it was just like, um, everybody was sort of looking for leadership and a hero and uh, at a moment where everyone was feeling so uh, down and um, you know, couldn't see each other's friendship. There was no friendships, there was no, our families, everything was separated. It's just like, you're just sort of looking for a savior somehow. And I, I just thought, oh, savior, that's what we should just call the record. Cause it sort of reflects like, um, a lot what is going on inside of the, of the record. Some of the songs that uh, m might be more topical are, are songs about uh, sort of the chaos and the divisiveness, the depression and mental health of being an American. You know, what everyone is on their sort of separate algorithms. You know, like Living in the 20s is sort of, was a song that was sort of written about uh, um, QAnon and sort of every, everyone's got their own conspiracy theories. And you just we're just sort of confusing ourselves and dividing ourselves. So that's sort of what, like sort of a theme that goes on throughout the whole record. You know, you get the world going through the lens of Billy and coming out of in, into his microphone and his guitar. The first reaction is like, oh, it's political. But sometimes it is and sometimes it's just the truth. It's relatable. Sometimes those politics, you might think they're political, sometimes it's personal, you know. Um, that's the great thing about music. The world's been a crazy play. We isolated together, it, with musically at least. Um, you know, the only time we get out, we just get together. And, and I think this is just, you know, with the songs that Billy was writing, this is naturally what happened when we get in a room and play together. 